I have a standard one and a half inch hose which hooks up to all the accessories like this for when I want to just clean the floor um, but then if I want to put it into you know one of the ports on the back of the tools it doesn't fit so then I had to come up with this this is a two and a half inch port adapter but this end was just a one inch so then I had to wrap duct tape around it and pad it so that I could get somewhat of a seal so that it would work and it does it works but I only have one so I wanted to make this style port for everything in my shop so that I could just carry around the hose and plug it in as needed and I wouldn't have to mess with this I wouldn't have to try to find it uh, because I tend to misplace it all the time and uh, then I could also not have to worry about taking it off and setting it aside when I want to use the other accessories so let me show you what I came up with this is a one and a half inch and two inch PVC. Um, so I, I mitered off or I chopped with my miter saw one end so it was nice and smooth. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the smaller one, the one and a half inch. And I'm going to use a heat gun and heat it up so it's nice and floppy. And I'm going to take my shop vac um, tube or hose and I'm just going to kind of mash it in there. And I'm going to get it to about this far in and then I'm just going to kind of hold it until the pipe cools. Okay, should be warm enough now. I'm going to take my shop vac hose and see if I can wedge this in there. Stretch it out. There we go. Just going to mash it in there. And we wait. And we'll just kind of wait until this cools off and then half of it is done. Okay, I think I got this one cool enough. Let's see how it fits, if we can get it to fit over this thing. Oh yeah, not a problem at all. Okay, so I just need to hold that there until it cools, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Alright, so now we have our two pieces. Um, this one goes on to the planer, and the taper ends like right about here, so we just need to cut it off right about here. Uh, this one here is the one that goes onto the shop vac tube. Um, the taper is right about here. We need to give ourselves plenty of room, so I'm going to cut it off like probably up here, maybe right about here. Okay, so what is that? It's about an inch or so past the taper. So let's get to cutting. Or two pieces cut. What I actually did is I took a little marker and I uh, drew little arrows on there as far as which ends we need to join. So this end, the shop vac tube goes in here, this side goes into the power tool. Um, I need to make these ends meet somehow. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to heat this one up and I'm going to flare out the end and basically make a flange. Then what we'll do is we'll sand them both flat and then we'll stick them together and glue them. You're going to make sure that you get it really floppy so heat it up extra good so that you can turn it inside out like we were saying and make sure that you push it down on something flat so I'm going to use the bed of my uh, or my tabletop on my saw. Okay, let's try it now. Just about got it. Got some stubborn areas here though. It's looking pretty good. Just kind of have to hold it here now until it cools. And keep in mind that if you reheat it, it's going to try to um, go straight again. So if you heat this up to try to fix it, uh, or to make it more circular, it's just going to, uh, the flange is going to come right out and it'll go straight. 
So I'm just going to hold this until it cools, and then we'll move on to the next bit. All right, now that we have our piece, we need to sand a smooth edge right around here. So we need to hold that down on the sander, get it perfectly flat. Likewise, we need to take our other piece and sand a perfect flat edge here uh, so that we can glue them together. All right, so let's do that. residual dust off of there and you may have to clean up some of the edges with a razor blade um, sometimes the sandpaper melts the PVC a little bit and it curls over so you can just take a knife and clean that up so I got a little bit of it right there and just like that just cleans right up so just kind of go around them and clean up the edges if you need to and then we're ready to glue so verify my edges are looking good and they are so you want to first start with some primer and then some uh, PVC cement and only apply the cement on the edge of this piece you don't need to apply it on the face of the flange this ought to be enough. And I like to be a little bit liberal with the glue just in case there are any gaps it'll fill. And hold it down in place just like that. Kind of give it a good press. Count to ten. Okay. And it should start to firm up and it has and it's probably not necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and drop it here in the vise. Okay, just pulled this out of the vise. It's looking pretty good. Um, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this edge here on the sander and just make it nice and flush. There you have it, folks. There's our finished product. Looks pretty good. This end slides over the top of the port on the planer vacuum hose goes right on the on the inside there nice snug friction fit real nice I'm happy with that now bear in mind here's the other one that I made for my sander this one's a little bit different vacuum hose goes in here but instead of this going on the outside of the port like the one we just made this one actually goes on the inside so I had to heat it up and then I actually had to tuck and compress the PVC into the port a little bit tricky. Make sure you wear gloves because it can be pretty hot. But uh, in a nutshell, that's how I did it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye.